Welcome back to collecting Elvis on vinyl, part five, part two of the Camdens. A lot to show today, so we get straight in. This is Elvis on the Camden label. This was issued in 1981. And a copy to look out for is this one. As you can see it doesn't have the Camden top right hand corner and this one was available in the Marks and Spencers stores there's only 10,000 of these printed it's the same album but on the red label with a different catalogue number back of the cover Very similar, but has that in the bottom left hand corner. Obviously, Camden copy has that. Also, this one, this was issued in 1981 on the Camden, and about six months beforehand. It was issued in the Marks and Spencer stores. Again, no Camden top right hand corner. And the album, the Camden one looks like that. The blue Camden. And the Marks and Spencer's one, again, in the red label. So that's the one to look out for. These come in a gatefold sleeve. Sleeves very similar again. Only difference being catalogue number and the Marks and Spencers one. Top right hand corner. And on the bottom there. Different from the Camden. Of course, the UK wasn't the only country to issue Camden albums. Here's a few from South Africa. These ones are quite collectible. This one is Rock is Back. That's the back cover. Sleeve and the record looks like that. And this one, Elvis the Originals. These are the original versions of the songs that were in Elvis the Movie, 1979. Obviously, the songs in the movie didn't feature. Elvis's vocals. This was in the cake fold sleeve. And the back just has the song titles on it. And the record label looks like that. from the USA next. This one is Frankie and Johnny. This is a cover borrowed from the Elvis Nair album. This come out about 1975. That's the back cover. And the label. As it's called Frankie and Johnny, it isn't a straightforward release of the original. It's actually missing three tracks, which was on the original album. There's a copy of the original album on the mono.
and the three tracks that were missing were Everybody Come Aboard, Chesse and Look Out Broadway. So this album actually run for about 27 minutes. So obviously this one runs even, even shorter. Double Dynamite, there's a two record set. Again they've borrowed a cover from as recorded live at Madison Square Garden. That's the back of the cover. Wasn't actually a gatefold sleeve this one. And this features 18 tracks. Again, it wasn't the first time that the USA had shortchanged their self. In the UK, this album was issued like this and featured 20 tracks. We've got an extra two tracks. We've got Tender Feeling and Charo, which wasn't on the USA copy. And it's the label, the Pickwick label for the US copy. And there's the English Camden copy. This one actually came with a poster as well. And there's the poster. My apologies for my last video, I'm afraid during the making of that my camera decided to break. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. In that last video we said we'd look at the Camdens in a bit more detail. So this is the first one and this is the one to look out for. This is the Singer Presents Elvis Singing Flaming Star. This is the first Camden come out in 1968. In America. That's what the back cover looks like. And you have the ad for the singer. And the label looks like that. It's in a sort of tan colour. Then these are easily picked up in the US, not so easy to to get in England. Nice in the sleeve. The English copy just stated Elvis Sings Flaming Star. Front cover. Back cover. And the label from the Green International. Also, there's a USA Camden Press in there. And later on, around 83, 84, there's a German copy. This come out on a new German back label. Slightly different back cover with different ads for different albums. And the original back cover with the NL code top right hand corner. 1979 in the UK, Flaming Star was reissued again with a different cover. Still on the Camden label. That's back. And that's the label. In France, this album was released, Elvis Presley Volume 2. There's also another French album, Elvis Presley Volume 2, and again, Elvis Presley Volume 2. And on closer inspection, you'll see that the track listing, this is actually another copy of Flaming Star. Same tracks on all three albums. They've made it into a 10 track as they've made Yellow Eyes of Texas and Eyes of Texas as two separate tracks when it, it's still the medley. So that's actually a 9 track album. That's the other, the other 
back of that one. There you go, fly in slow again. And this one. Now these was on the red RCA impact label. With the black center. There's the catalogue number of this one. There's the catalogue number of this one, exactly the same. With the black center. But the third one is an all red label and there's a different catalogue number. So if there's any French fans out there that know a little bit more about these, I'd like to know when they was issued. Were, were they issued? Surely not all together. They all feature the same tracks, Flaming Star. Also this one is a double album from France. Nice gatefold sleeve. One look at the track listing for the first album, and you'll see again this flaming style face A and face B. Face C and D are the next Camden release. Let's be friends. Nice cover, and that's on the Green International label. So there's some variants of the album Flaming Star. There is more than this available out there. This is just a select few. So until the next video, just remember while there's music, life's no waste. There is a lot of Camden albums to get through. And uh, we'll try and get through them all <laughs> as quickly as possible. And then we can move on to some other Elvis albums to collect. Thanks for watching. Just a side note, I know this is collecting Elvis on vinyl, but if you're looking for something for Christmas, treat yourself. I'd highly recommend this release from Elvis in Nashville. Four CD set this is. You can get it on 2LP vinyl as a best of, but I like to have the complete set. And for fans that are already wondering what the back side looks like. Track 10, yes, I have the copy. There's a bit of a mistake. We're still at it after all these years. So if you're a collector, you'd probably have to buy this twice. Highly recommended.